Hello, you are on PCCL channel. It's okay? How to measure masses. For this we use a traditional mass balance, or an electronic scale. On the screen you see a double pan balance formerly used in laboratories. This object has become historical. We are asked to measure the mass of a sugar lump. Only one. I will put six. It will be easier. We will divide the result by six. Fifty grams is too much. You have understood the principle. It is a question of balancing with standard masses, known masses. This device could be used on the moon. I am trying twenty grams, but it's over twenty. Is it over thirty? No. Is it over 25? No, it's less. So I'm going to suggest 24. The equilibrium is done with 24. There are 6 sugar cubes 24 divided by 6 equals 4. The mass of each sugar cube is 4 grams. Now the laboratories are equipped with electronic scales. We are going to measure the mass of a liquid. There are two ways to do this. In both cases, it is a question of getting rid of the mass of the container in order to measure the mass of the liquid alone. I put, first method, the container, a beaker, here, empty, and I do not press on until after. The display shows zero, so that the screen, from now on, will only give me the mass of the liquid. Water, for example, why not? I am asked here the mass of water poured when the squeeze bottle is empty. So I will wait and I get 53.4 grams, that I propose here. There is a second technique, which consists of turning on the scale, then putting the container down. The mass of the container is red. Because it is useless, we must press air so that the screen displays zero. And I will spare you the rest, since we know it, we will now have the mass of the only liquid. That's it for this video. Thank you.